Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing the OWC Data Doubler in the optical drive bay in a mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. The OWC Data Doubler will allow us to remove the seldom needed optical drive and replace it with a second internal hard drive. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro on a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close the MacBook Pro and turn it upside down. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove from the bottom of the MacBook Pro. We will begin by removing these three screws as they are different lengths than all the other screws. Now gently pull the bottom of the case, starting at the top rear, until all the snaps release. The optical drive is located here. To remove the old optical drive, we first need to disconnect two cables using our nylon pry tool. Gently pry up here until the cable pops free. Repeat for the smaller cable. Remove this small Phillips screw by the fan. In order to remove the drive, these two Phillips screws must also be removed. Once the two screws have been removed, gently slide the module over until you are able to see and remove this Phillips screw underneath it. Do not break any of the wires. The final Phillips screw we need to remove is located here. To remove the old optical drive, use the nylon pry tool to gently lift one side slightly, then remove the drive, being careful not to snag onto any of the wires. From the old optical drive, we need to remove the data connector and bracket to use on the new OWC data doubler. Pull the data connector out gently and set aside. To remove the bracket, use your Phillips screwdriver to remove the two Phillips screws here. The OWC Data Doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. The easiest way to install the SSD drive is to lay the data doubler like this. Align the SATA connectors and push the connectors together. We will use these two holes to attach the SSD to the data doubler using the two Phillips screws provided. We will now install the bracket from our old optical drive onto the data doubler. Line up the bracket and secure it using the two small Phillips screws. Now line up and plug in the data connector. Slide the data doubler into place, make sure that it fits correctly here, and that the wire on this side is above the data doubler. Install this Phillips screw next to the fan. Now replace this Phillips screw. Install one of the small Phillips silver screws that came with the data doubler here. Line up the module and install the two screws, remembering that the longer Phillips screw goes here.
Make sure this cable is in its channel. Then plug in the two cables. Now set the bottom of the MacBook Pro into place and push in these two spots to lock it in. Replace the 10 Phillips screws, starting with the three longer ones here. You can now turn your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.